thoughts have subtle powers but sometimes we think about destiny now who will i become will i achieve fulfill my dreams will i become something worthwhile someone glorious in my life a destiny seems to be a very big thing but that very big thing of destiny is shaped largely by the seemingly small thing of our thoughts in our thoughts shape our words what your thoughts they will become words what your words they will become actions what your actions they will become habits what your habits they will become character what your character it will become your destiny this is a sequence from thoughts to words to actions to habits to character to destiny just as something that comes as a giant tsunami on a coast or when it is in the ocean it is just a small ripple it is a small wave but as it comes closer and closer to the coast then because of the opposition the wave starts become and become bigger and bigger bigger and bigger and when it hits the coastline it can cause devastation so like that what starts as a small issue can end up becoming a very big issue if we don't check it in time if we don't notice how it is growing the thoughts are not just something ethereal thought don't just produce things thoughts are themselves things we have a thought we act on it and then something happens so it's not that when the thing happens thoughts become things rather even before them thoughts are things in themselves so there is a subtle level of reality which is different from the gross level of reality but that is also real so thoughts are real things existing at the subtle level of reality and thoughts in that sense are real now the reason to recognize and reiterate the reality of thoughts is that often we don't take what is going on in our mental world very seriously okay i had some thoughts like that okay this is matter you know if we have negative attitudes so negative attitudes are going to shape us consciously or subconsciously and if we don't want to be shaped in a wrong way then we have to take charge of our inner life take charge of our thoughts so the thoughts they have the power of what we would say materialization just as a seed is something which is going to develop in due course of time and will give rise to a whole tree in the long run similarly thoughts have the power of actualization so the thought it is said is the ancestor to the deed the kind of thoughts we have they are going to give rise to deeds if we apply a little discipline in our inner world and we discipline thoughts cultivate thoughts in a particular direction and avoid thoughts in a particular direction then cultivate positive thoughts avoid negative thoughts then that can have significant positive or negative effects for us and by recognizing this power of thoughts we can shape our own destiny in a proper way rather than letting ourselves get carried away by negative things happening we can channelize our energy towards positive reality and thus move closer and closer towards actualizing our full potential so our thoughts are anyway going to shape our destiny just like even if if a person does not water and plow and cultivate a land and then the land weeds are going to grow so like that there are going to be stray thoughts that are going to come in our mind and those stray thoughts are going to uh, germinate and they are going to shape our destiny so we cannot stop the power of thoughts we can only choose how to direct that power by choosing the kind of thoughts we want to cultivate our thoughts are going to be creators our choice is whether we let, will be unwitting participants where we let stray thoughts that come in our mind which will often tend to be negative or waste thoughts whether we let those stray thoughts shape our destiny or we consciously choose and cultivate positive thoughts and let them shape a positive destiny for us that is the choice which we can contemplate and activate 
by recognizing the subtle power of thoughts. Thank you.